I'm uh, Pascal Maya. I'm a biophysicist from University of Strasbourg. So I was involved during my career in what I call DNA analysis technologies. The problem that was back in 96 is that with the existing DNA sequencing technology, each time when you wanted to read a bit of DNA, you needed to have one vial, one sample, one operation. And so for sequencing the whole human genome, you had millions of such operations to do. So that made it very expensive, very cumbersome, very long. So my idea was to have something where you could use the whole DNA genome, cut it in pieces and put it on any surface in such a way you can eventually assay them. This is very difficult to do on one single DNA fragment. And we were progressing in getting the technology together. We knew two other companies working on it, which were Lynx Therapeutics and Solexa with Shankar and David. My name is David Klenerman and I'm a professor at the University of Cambridge. I'm Shankar Bala Subramanian. I'm a chemist at the University of Cambridge. The Human Genome Project was finishing, which was the first sequence of a whole human, but that was the average sequence of a human. And what was required was a technology that could sequence individuals. So that's three billion bases. And we realized we could do that by making the whole method massively parallelized and miniaturized. And today this technology um, is able to sequence DNA more than a million times faster and lower cost than at the start of the project. David is a physical chemist and he works with lasers and imaging. My background is more organic chemistry, um, biochemistry, and so we pushed each other's ideas along. And I think mobilizing the resources, the people, the expertise, and then solving all the individual problems and bringing them together and into an integrated system, I think was a considerable challenge. So the technology originally started off as a research tool, but it's been fantastic that it's now being used widely in hospitals actually to identify what, what's wrong with, with people and then find cures in a lot of cases. So that's very gratifying. So to me, the Gardner Prize is a very strong academic recognition of the work that has been done. And so this is very important because it gives much stronger and uh, scientific kind of recognition, which is something I'm very happy to have, uh, of course. I think the war just shows you that how powerful science is and how um, doing, by be doing basic science and, and doing curiosity-driven science, you know, we, we can go from, from an idea literally written down on a piece of paper to 20 years later a technology that's used all over the world and in hospitals and starting to save people's lives. And I, I think the importance of the award, particularly for the young people, is to show what's possible, where scientists working together can, can solve major problems and make a big difference.